Okay, this is gonna be tip, uh, I guess, part number two on this, because some people had asked me how I had mounted my control module, and my winch, because my first video didn't really show much of that. So, uh, due to the fact that I was an idiot and didn't replace the radiator when I did the AC condenser on this, I'm uh, putting a radiator in it now. <laughs> had to pull the whole front end back off again. So I was gonna give you a couple pointers, uh, other than, you know, if you're like me, and you're doing the AC condenser, which is this piece right here in the front, um, you know, it was leaking, so I, when I did the winch, I decided to do the AC condenser. Uh, go ahead, and if your radiator is older, like this, a 2013, if it's older, go ahead and, and do the radiator. This is the old one. I'm going to be pulling out here in a little bit. It's quite a project. Take everything apart. you got to take the whole cowl off and all that garbage uh, to get it off. Um, it's just time-consuming, basically. But anyway, back to the... Uh, uh, you know, tips on this when you do do the bumper uh, make sure that you all these bolts that secure the uh, uh, bumper to the frame uh, lock tight them in because I noticed when I went back in that they were uh, coming you know, they weren't loose but they had to loosen a little and uh, make sure you go ahead and do that uh, when you do it uh, you don't necessarily have to do the ones at the bottom of the winch the four that hold it to the plate uh, because they are uh, have lock washers on them so we just go ahead and put Loctite on those. Uh, so getting how I did this, so I took a piece of angle iron. As you can see, I cut it here uh, to fit and put U-bolts on it. And I'm using the support braces that go to the uh, uh, hood support brace cowl, which is gone. I took it off uh, while I'm you know, coming to pull the radiator out. So it bolt into that. It's pretty sturdy. It holds in. These U-bolts hold it real tight and keeps it from going up or down. Uh, I mounted this control module underneath uh, let me see if you can see, with just one bolt and a quick pin uh, to keep it from rotating. So I had an angle to it, um, not an angle, but a, another pin in there to hold it from rotating. Just on that flat piece of angle, or angle iron, I should say, on the top portion. It leaves enough room in the back for clearing the AC condenser. As you can see, there's a power, uh, power steering cooler down in there also. Uh, just enough room for clearing all that, and it still allows air to get around it and also underneath to get to the uh, power steering cooler to it. It cuts a little of the flow down, but not too bad. Uh, what else was I gonna tell you? Okay, so anyway, angle iron. So what I did was I ran a extended cable piece. It's a two footer. These are like a hundred bucks, ridiculous price, but it's good quality. And where the hood comes out, where the hood latch is, I run this up through the hood latch area and then back through a little hole that you have to cut out anyway in your plastic uh, uh, molding on top so that you can get to your control piece because they give you an, ex buy an extended handle for this and it's like a T-handle. You come down through the top and you twist it and you can activate your quick release from there rather than just you know doing all winch control. Uh, but this makes it nice. It'll be sitting up here. I pull it out. I hook it to my control module from the outside of the vehicle. Of course, got to open the hood to do it. Uh, but then I can winch with that without having to have any any issues at all. So I just thought I'd do a quick video and show you how I actually mounted. Some people had asked me how I did it, and uh, I got to get to doing this radar. It's quite a project, taking the whole you know front bumper cover off and everything. So if you do do this, like I say, lock tight your bolts. Don't uh, just snug them up. And uh, if you're any chance your radiator is going to go out or you're replacing your AC condenser because mine was going bad, do the, do the radiator too. It's worth the 500 bucks and not have to tear this whole dang thing apart again. That's my video. I hope you got something out of it. Thanks.